Hello friends, welcome to Programming YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about exception handling in a Java programming. In this tutorial, we have to discuss about how to handle exception using a package. And finally, let's first know about what is the exception. First, what is the exception? The exception is an unwanted or unexpected event which is occurred during the execution of a program that means when program flow is running at a time some event or some disturbance will be occur it's called the exception one thing is on a mind exception and error are but two different concepts let's discuss about exception and error error cannot be handled using a try catch and which is occurred during the compile time error like a semicolon missing spelling missing etc when exception is so can be handled using the try catch which is occurred during the run time see here here exception are of two type checked exception and unchecked exception we know that what is error error cannot be handled using try catch let's discuss about a type of exception the first type is a checked exception a checked exception is an exception that is occur at the compile time this is also known as a compile time exception that is occur a mistake of the programmer the next type exception is the exception that is occur during the execution of a program this exception also known as a runtime exception unchecked exception that means a logical error or any array out of bound error arithmetic error all type of are exception is the unchecked exception let's exception can be handled using a for or is a try catch so can try catch finally but method is a throw and the last one is to throw so let's discuss about try catch finally this is a syntax of a try catch there are two blocks first block is a try block and second one is a catch block inside the try block we put the block catch word and catch block having to handle the exception let's discuss about a try catch in the try block put the code which is a generated the exception java try block must be followed by either catch block or final block that means first try block ho jayega then pachi catch block at the final block ho to chale and catch block when exception is occur exception occur and handle by the catch block whenever exception is hand occur it is can catch block is handle the exception in java catch block is used to handle the exception it must be used after the try block you can use the multiple catch block with a single try statement the last is a final final block this will ensure that the final block is executed even if the unexpected exception occur that means the final block ko run thase ch try block ni andar error hoy ke na hoy ana final block ni andar je pa statement ape lakhi su e thati thavano che ane mane lakhi su let's check the programming of the try catch let's start the programming exception Let's create a class. Its name is a exception demo. First, try to execute this program without a try catch block. Let's see the output. Then after this, the try catch block. Public static void main 
inside bracket string argument suppose we have figure here a b and c a is equal to 5 b is equal to 0 and now calculate c is equal to k divided by b here a divided by b that means they give some quoting value so try to variable c declare as a quote now print out a value of a c C is equal to uh, so try to display the one message after the printing the value of C all is there let's compile and run this java program java C exception that Java program is it successfully check here the generate the class file now start with that see here the exception will be occur at the line number 10 see here why here exception will be generated we know that divide by zero that means the infinite so here c will be not a print that means this two statement is not print out due to the exception of a, this line after the 11 and 12 number line is not executed that means exception will be per at a run time and disturb the whole program so this will be sort out by the right catch so let's this will be sort out by right catch and finally right catch and finally exception is a class the object of the exception class. So now we know that so this four line will be the generate the exception. So put inside the try block. And here handle the exception of the try block. Only print out that means is a print the which type of exception it's not that and this line will be must be executed even if try has an error or not. We write the finally block and put this code which is run so let's first compile the program and after execute it see here java dot line dot arithmetic exception divided by z which is displayed by this statement object e which is a exception class here in e element number line and this message 
is always that isoprene. So, triplet finally is used for handle the exception during the run time. It is easy to handle the exception also. If we are not putting the finally block and run again, the same output will be generated. You can declare multiple case statement like this. Your exception type will be different, like arithmetic exception, like array out of bound exception. But try block is only one. And after the try block, must be at least one catch or finally block. This is the very important concept of a Java program. If any theory regarding the exception handling using a try case in finally, the give the any suggestion on the YouTube video, please write a comment. We will sort out it. Thank you for watching this video, friends.